welcome everybody to Sunday Pilates. I still feel like I look a little crooked, but it's actually tracking, so I'm going to keep it like this. But I don't want to be crooked. I'm going to have my head over my tailbone, my shoulder blades down. When you have your shoulder blades down, you should feel an opening right here in the top of your chest, like right above your pecs. So that's, you know, that's one of the benefits of that because you get that nice posture and pull that belly button up. Your ear, shoulder, and hip are in alignment. Your ear, shoulder, and hip are in alignment. And you have your belly button to the spine and then you're on your sit bones. So if you need to take one leg out to be on your sit bones, go ahead and do that. But remember to change over to the other side. Okay, as I announced before, today we're gonna use the ball and or the folded hand towel, but not for the warm up. So those are going to the side. Get yourself back in position, inhale up, exhale to ceiling and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down, and exhale up and inhale down, and exhale up and inhale down, and exhale over to the first side. You're keeping your bicep and your ear in alignment with one another. You're pulling up out of your hip on your, you're taking it through to the wall. It's not a curl down stretch. It's an extended stretch through the hip flexor, through the, uh, I, uh, the lat and through the serratus interior. So you're pushing out along to the wall. Take another big inhale and exhale and try to push the hip down as you extend that further. You put your hand on the full ear, take it across and open up your scalenes, keeping yourself aligned to your body. And then inhale across and rotate. You're putting your shoulder to the camera, to the screen, whatever you have there. You're inhaling and exhaling into this rotation. This, is, this could be enough for some people who have hip issues on the other side, so they don't wanna go into a full spinal fist. So there and we can also put our hand here inhale and exhale and bring your hand around head and shoulder tracks you lift your head and over your tail or over your you lift yourself up over your tailbone as you track and you breathe spiraling up like a spiral staircase so inhale and exhale three times find the rotation keep it there and two more times and then inhale to prepare and exhale bring it back to center roll your shoulders back Roll your shoulders forward and you switch legs. Good. Make sure that you have that alignment. So as soon as you shift yourself, we kind of get out of alignment. Inhale up, exhale ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale. And we exhale over to the other side. Push toward the wall. This is a long hip to finger uh, stretch and your um, lower arm is nice and soft. So we're going to take another big inhale and exhale and try to move it across a little bit more as we push that cheek into the floor. Nice. Put your hand on the bottom of your ear, track it across. Make sure your head is over your tailbone. Make that shoulder go down so you create a lot of space for the scalenes. So inhale across and rotate. We get the first open side stretch. Eyes are ahead on the floor. Don't push back on your neck. You can feel when you're pushing onto those vertebrae. And so release that. If you want to continue, hand on the thigh, bring the other hand up and around into that spiral staircase, lift up, don't let your body fall down. Big inhale and exhale, big inhale and exhale, and big inhale and exhale and hold it right there. Breathe into it three times. You should feel yourself getting kind of more aligned. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back, hand come out, and then inhale together and exhale, push out with the palms of your hands. Great, take a nice deep breath. We're going to put our feet into butterfly. You put the bottom of the feet together and we're going to go into a hinge stretch. That means we're gonna go out above the feet, not curl down. So take your hands above your head, inhale and exhale and reach towards your dog. Okay, your dog's not there, but mine is. Shoulder blades down, thumbs to the ceiling. Let's take that way, way, way out there. Inhale back and then exhale and push it through just a little bit more. Good, <clears throat> then we're going to curl up for the next part. So put your hands on the floor and pull into your belly. Pull into that curled up spine and then bring it up into an exhale, head over tailbone. Put your feet hip width apart, put your hands beside your hips and rock side to side. So we're gonna keep rocking side by side. You who came in later, you either need a ball or a towel. So go grab that while we're rocking side to side and then we'll get ourselves down to the mat. Make sure your knees go all the way down so you get that hip stretch. One of the things that we know that we work when we're doing stuff with the ball between our legs, the towel between our legs, are our hips because they come into this narrow tight position. So it's really a good stretch right now to loosen them up. All 
All right, four more and three more and two more and the last one, both sides, and then we're coming down to the mat. So put your feet in front of your knees, get your head over your tailbone, lift really high, pull that belly button to the spine. We're gonna do all that stuff. Make sure your feet are uh, sit bone width apart, curl down starting with your tailbone, lowering each segment at a time. So then you go to the lumbar, then you go to the mid back, then you go to the shoulder blades, and you go to the shoulder and then the head. We lift our glutes up, take them down the mat, wiggle up our upper body. Let's check our form. Hand on the belly. Big inhale and exhale and push it. Does that feel good? Just opening up that back. Let's do that again. Big inhale and exhale and push it in. Good job. All right, now we're going to set my clock for Pilates. I have it still on walking outdoors. All right, and then we're going to take the abs up and under the ribcage. So big inhale and exhale, push it up and under. So you're flattening and zipping up, right? Flattening and zipping up, not pushing the lumbar into the floor. Nice, and then close those ribs. Big inhale and exhale, open up that back, close those ribs. So you should feel really kind of slimmed out, thin right here. And we're going into our warm up. You can do these in the curl up or you can do them all the way down. We're gonna start with actually single leg stretch today. So take both legs to tabletop, curl yourself up and make sure those shoulder blades are off the floor. You're gonna bring one leg in, put your hand on your ankle, put your other hand on the inside of the knee. When we switch the hands go over to the same position on the other side. So let's look through our uh, thighs. Head does not go up and down. This is your anchor, so keep sinking into it. Inhale and exhale, and inhale and exhale. Let's warm it up. Nice. Again, you could be down here, reaching, right? This is an exercise where the knee goes past the hip line. It doesn't happen that often in Pilates. Let's do eight more sets. Eight and seven. Curl to the center. Six, last five. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, bring those legs to tabletop. We're gonna go to our hundreds. You can keep your legs there if you have back concerns and you can lie down or you could curl up and keep your legs there. You can take your legs out to your Pilates 45. Inhale for five, exhale five before we get till we get to 100. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 10. Inhale two, three, Four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 50. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 70. Inhale, two, Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Bring your hands behind your head. Take your legs to tabletop. Take one leg out. Crossovers. We stay in this anchored position. We just turn and turn. So inhale and exhale. Keep the arms wide. They're not what's reaching. You're reaching with the upper body. Come on, 10 more sets. Nine. Look through the thighs, not at the feet. Eight. So it's got to be a really big lift. Seven. Good job. Six. Last five. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. Both sides. Hug your knees and grab your apparatus, whether it's a Pilates ball or a rolled up towel. Again, we don't want the towel to be very, very thick. It should be a burrito of a hand towel that looks about that thickness. So we're gonna start with it under our knee, right here. So you're actually just holding it with your uh, closed leg. You could curl up for this, or you can stay lying down. You touch down and up. We're gonna do that 10 times very slowly. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Hands to the side, if you're curled up, hands to the side, palms to the ceiling, good. Inhale and exhale. So if you're curled up, make sure you're looking between your thighs. Also, if you want to take 
or your upper body into it, the, abdo uh, the abdominus rectus. Lift the other leg up. There we go. Inhale and exhale. I lost my count. Eight, nine, exhale up. 10, squeeze that together. Pull that belly in every time you bring that knee up. Nine, good job. Eight, perfect. Seven, six, last five, good job. Four, right there. Three, so you have that towel or that ball under there too. Of course, you could take it out if it bothers your knee or anything at all. All right, drop it out to the side. And one, out, keep squeezing. And two, we're going slow. Out, and three. Inhale, and exhale. Bring it right back next to its partner if you have your leg up. Good, six. Bring it back and pull that belly in, seven. We're gonna start gently today, eight. So this is pretty gentle, right? Nine, you might feel your hip. Depends, 10, what condition your hips are in. A lot of us have different conditions. I certainly do, one. Two, the, both feet are pointed, except unless you have one down. <laughs> Two, good. So there's a lot of levels you can do this exercise. Three, you can be completely curled up, both legs up. Four, you can be all the way down with one leg down. Five, or anywhere in between. Six, you have to modify what's right for you and how you like to challenge yourself. Seven, eight, nine, good job. And 10, hold it down there. Now push it toward the shoulder. One, two, three, you feel that rotation in the obliques. Four, it's pulling from the other side. Six, seven, breathe it. Eight, exhale, nine, 10, 10, point that other leg if it's up, nine, eight, and looking between the thighs, seven, if you're curled up, six, five, good job, four, three, two, and one, bring it back to the top. So we're gonna combine those. Take it down and up, out, push, and one. Ooh, bring it up, down and up, lower, push, and two. Good, down and up, lower, push, and three. Bring it up, down and up, lower, push, and four. You've got it. Down and up, lower, push, oh, push, and five. Good. Down and up, lower, push, and six. Nice. Down and up, lower, push, and seven. Good job. Don't let that other leg run away from you. Good. Push and eight. Nice job. Down and up, lower, push, and nine. Down and up. Lower, push for 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and bring it together. Release the ball and put it in the other side. I'll turn around. You keep your position. Keep yourself nice and extended. Good. I always have to open my body when I'm down here. Okay, put it back under the other leg. Nope. Make sure you're in the tabletop position, except on the squeezing leg, because that has to hold that. That has to hold that apparatus down and one. So it's inhale and exhale. Three, four, five, six. If you're feeling any back concerns, this is when you get in your curl up. Eight, because it really does protect your back to push it into the floor. 10 more, yes. One, make sure the other leg isn't dropping out if you have it up. Two, ball is under your knee or your towel. Four, nice. Five, look through your thighs, not at the ceiling. Make sure you're not letting your neck carry your head. Seven, eight, nine, 20, now drop it out to the side, take it down and one. Now what's important about this position is that you don't let your body rock over. So it's just opening as far as you could go with that hip flexor, three, and uh, keeping your everything else anchored, four, good, five, you can have your head down and curled up, six, both feet are pointed, 
seven. I hold on to mine because it naturally wants to go out. Eight. So it always wants to drop out with the other leg. Nine. Good. Looking through the thighs. Ten. Unless you have your head down. One. Two. Good job. Pull it up. Three. So when you pull it up, you're pulling that belly button deeper into the spine. Four. Good. Five. Six. I don't have as much range of motion on this side as I do on the other. Seven. Good job. Eight. Nine. Now hold it in there and we push it toward the shoulder. One. Two. Three. Make sure you're even. Four. On, the, on your back, five, that you're imprinted along that hip line, six, good, seven, that you're not up one side or the other, eight, nine, good, 10 more, pull that belly in. Again, you can have your head down, nine if you want to, eight, good job, seven, six, squeeze it tight, five, four, good job, three, and two, and one, we put those together for 10. Take it down and up, lower, push, and good. Take it one, down and up, lower, push, and two. Bring it up, down and up, lower, push toward your head, three. Bring it up, down and up, lower, push. Bring it back before you take it up, four. All right, down and up, drop it, push it. But then return it, then bring it up five, down and up, lower, push and six, bring it back, down and up, lower, push and seven, good, down and up, lower, push and eight, down and up, lower, go for 20, 20, 19, center yourself, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, pull it in, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Bring the leg up, lower your head, and take the ball out from under it. Nice job. Take a nice deep breath here. We're going to do the scissor stretch. As you may remember from the other time that we use the ball or the roll towel, towel, we take the ball behind the lifted leg and then pass it over to the other. So legs are off tabletop. Curl yourself up again. You can have your um, you can have your head flat on the floor. So you're going to bring the leg in, take the ball around it, then switch and switch. Just keep circling those legs with the ball. Of course, you could be down here and do it. Now keep going. If you're down here doing it, a lot of people put their heads back a little bit so that their throat is open, but you're crushing your cervical curve that way. So make sure you're on the back of your head. Let's do 10 more. Nine, good. Eight, perfect. Seven, nice. Six, last five, and four, and three, and two. Last one, lower those feet. Put the ball in between your feet. Now your feet are side by side, right? They're not bottom of the feet. Feet are side by side, so you're holding it with the side of your feet. So you're making a circle. Two, nice and slow. Three, four. You definitely can have your head down for this or up. Five, six, seven. Hold that belly button to the spine. Eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. One, two. Now, one of the reasons three, keep going. Four, my feet aren't point, pointed hard. Five, I don't let go of the ball. Six, but don't flex them. Just hold them as natural as you can. Seven. <clears throat> eight, <clears throat> nine, and 10. Now I want you to take a bigger circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Nine, and 10, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. Do not lift off the floor, seven. So just keep your hips attached, eight, your glutes will be up, nine and 10. Now one more big circle, bigger, all the way around, big, nice and slow, two, three, 
So your back four determines how far you're gonna go down in front because that's an arching motion. Five, so be careful with that. Six, or curl up. Seven, nice. Eight, nine, make it nice and slow. 10 more, well, I fell over, and then reverse. One, two, keep going, three, nice and tight, four, oh my goodness, five, good, six, we feel those hips, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 20. All right, make it big, and then, yourself the ball. Okay. Nice. We're going to do some crazy combinations. What? You want moms to do something crazy? No. Okay. Legs are tabletop. We're curling up, putting the ball between our knees and pushing out the teaser, then curling back down and bringing it back down. Take the legs to tabletop. Sorry. Should we put it back down? Curl it up, put it in, stretch out, bring it back and bring it overhead. So I want you to release the ball every time. Curl it up, put it between, put it between the knees. Oops. Don't be like me and drop it. Push it out, bring it back, and lower it down. Good. Curl it up. Make sure you come into the curl up in the inhale. Exhale, push out. Inhale and exhale down. Curl it up, inhale, exhale, push out. Inhale and exhale and bring it down. Oops. Curl it up, pocket it in there, take it out. Nice pointed legs, inhale and exhale down. Curl it up, pocket it in there, bring it up. Inhale and exhale and bring it down. Last three, curl it up, put it in there, take it out, reach, reach, reach. Inhale and exhale, bring it down. Two more, curl it up, put it in there, reach and bring it down. Last one, curl it up, pocket it and reach and hold it there. You knew we were gonna hold it there, didn't you? Hold it, drop your shoulder blades, nice, nice pointed legs, and then come on forward and come on over to your sides. Woohoo! We're having a great time, aren't we? You're gonna pike. I bet you do that. All right, pike, elbow back, glutes back, legs out to an angle. Make sure you tuck your hips under. You put the ball or the towel between your thighs, not between your knees, but it's above your knees. All right, make sure your elbow and shoulder alignment, you're looking straight ahead. You're not pushing on the back. You're tucked under, belly button to spine. You can have your hand up or forward. If you have it forward, don't use it to brace. Just use it for balance. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just lift and lower these legs. So this pike is very important because it allows you to have flexibility here. So lift and one. So if you're down here, that's a lot harder too. So you wanna be pike three, four. Pause at the top. Five, so we don't just use gravity to get us down. Six, nice. Seven, good. Eight, so you might be going back on your hip a little more than you mean to. Nine, and you might need a towel on your hip. Ten more. One, good job. Two, three, perfect. Four, stay stacked. Five, if you're feeling any kind of judge in your shoulder, come all the way down. Seven, good. Eight, good job. Nine, and hold it up here on 20. Bend and extend. Two, nice. Three, now you might feel like the towel's gonna fall out. Four, so squeeze harder. Five, or make it fatter. Six, because if you're narrowing too much, seven, or if you have an enormous thigh gap, which you might, eight, you might need a little more padding. Nine, 10 more, good. One, two, three, good. Four, gotta make sure I'm in pike. Five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, now hold it here on 20 and then you lift and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Feel that waist. 10 more. 10, nine, eight. Point those feet. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. We extend it, lift, bend it, lift, lower, extend. Good, lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, lift, bend, lift, good, and out. Nice, you got it, whoo. And don't forget the first extension, then the bend, then you lift again, then you extend and forward, right? Oops, I forgot to lift. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend. Last three, lift, oops, lift, bend, lift, lower, extend. Last two, lift, bend, lift, lower, extend. I could say it, but sometimes my body doesn't follow. Lift, bend, lift, lower, and extend. Nice job. Keep that in between there, right there. You're gonna come up onto your hand right here. This is kind of the mermaid, but we're not in mermaid because we have this thing between our legs, but we're going to take it to the front and one. A little attitude two. Three. Now, if none of this works for you, four, keep going because of your shoulder, wrist, or anything else, come all the way down here, lift it up five, and just move it to the front. Six, seven, good job. Eight, for the rest of us, this is a real minimal nine, minimal, minimalist um, movement. Ten more. One, good. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 20. Now I want you to take your legs all the way out in that pipe, right here, all right? So you are, this might be a little bit of a challenge. So if you need to take the ball out, come down to your elbow or straddle your feet, as, you know, just go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do are side plank lifts. So whatever you need to do, to help yourself get into that position, tuck that hip under. You're gonna take it up and down. Two, nice. Three, good job. Four, now we're at pike. So we have a little five, we have a little more flexibility. Six, keep going. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, you're gonna hold it up here on 10 and tuck it under. One, nice. Two, good job. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job. And 10, lower it down, take the ball out and stretch into a forward fold. We're gonna go right to the other side. Usually we do something in between, but I wanna keep this momentum going with these combinations. So let's pike over. If I'm not stretching enough for you, you go ahead and take a break and come back. All right, so elbow back, shoulder, glutes back, legs in front, put it in between, point, tuck your hip under, eyes ahead, lift and lower. One, two, three. Again, you can lie all the way down. Four, five, six, pointed feet, seven, eight, nine. 10 more, remember to pause at the top 10 so that you're not dropping and giving into gravity. Nine, good job. Eight, seven, lift, lift, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it up here on one, then we do the curl and extend. Two, nice, three, take your time. Four, try not to sit back on that hip. Five, go forward. Six, you can just roll your body forward a little bit. Seven, eight, point those feet. Nine, don't forget to breathe. 10 more. Now, it doesn't have to be a full load off the ground. 10, you just want to have some elevation. Nine, so you have to pull together and those hips are working. Seven, six, last five, and four, and three and two, and one, and we lift. One, inhale, exhale, three, exhale, coming down. 
four, because you want to get that belly button to the spine. Five, this is some work. Six, seven, keep going. Eight, you've got it. Nine, and 10 more. Good. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and Sherman Pike, nine, and 20. Guess what? We take it all the way out. Now we're gonna do the thing I got confused on last time. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and one. Lift, bend, <laughs> lift, lower, extend, and two. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and three. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and four. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and five. Lift, stay up there, bend, lift, lower, extend, and six. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and seven. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and eight. Lift, bend, lift, lower, extend, and nine. Lift, stay up there, bend, lift, lower, extend, and 10. Bring yourself up onto your hand, or if not, come down onto your arm and do our little attitude. We keep these legs pretty stacked. Bring it up, take it around, and one, two, three. So I'm always gonna go down onto my elbow, straight hand, four, if you need to, five, right? Six, so what? Seven, the benefit is just having that other side up, eight, and uh, nine, it, it lengthens, 10 more, 10. The work with the external obliques, eight, are your feet pointed? My keep flexing seven, six, and five, and four, and three, and two. The last one in extending, get ready for the plank. All right, again, you're keeping it in between. If you need to straddle your feet, go ahead. If you need to come down your elbow, go ahead. And the other thing, of course, is you can take the ball out and do a modified plank, which is what I should have said on the other side, and I apologize for missing out. But so many of you who are here, I can't talk about the people who are watching, but so many who you are here know how to modify for your own bodies. So I sometimes forget. All right, so let's stack it up. Take it up and one, lift and two, lift, worry about it, and three, thinks I'm gonna hit and hit. Lift, I'll move my legs, four, lift and five, Six is your hand or elbow right under your shoulder. Seven, good job. Eight, nine, good job. And 10, hold it up there, check on your one. And two, and three, and four, and five, lift up. Six, good, seven, eight, nine, good job. And 10, let's lower down. My ball fell out, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna take a spinal twist or an open twist before we go on to the next part. This is crooked, but it's funny. Do you feel like you're seeing this on a boat? Let's move to one side. Breathe into it, and then let's go to the other side and breathe into it. Let me pull that camera down a little bit. It is crooked. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nope, this way. Eh, that's right, I hope that's right. First I said, I'm not dealing with this anymore. All right, we're going down on our stomachs. We're gonna create a frog out of our legs. And we're gonna lift and lower those legs. It's a back exercise. So you're lifting from the transverse abdominal. So you're trying to get the thighs off the floor. So I wanna say that because it's hard to say it once I'm down there. So it's also kind of hard to get the uh, ball between the feet, but I will, hopefully we will all be able to do it. All right, just reach back. Get it between the feet. Your knees are out and your feet are together. So that means you're using the bottom of your feet to hold the ball or the towel. You're opening the knees, you're stacking your hands and putting your head on your hand. Then you inhale with a lift and exhale with a lower. Again, moving from the transverse abdominal. Let's go. Lift and one. Lift, two, lift, now, as you can see, I have no range of motion. Four, five, six, and why? Because I really cut off my hip flexor. Seven, 
from helping out. Eight, good, nine, 10 more. You can do this. One, I can't, but let's try. Two, three, four, five, six, pull through that belly, seven, eight, you keep your head down, but you can't hear me down there, so I'm keeping my head up, nine, and 20. Now, put, put the ball between your feet and have your feet side by side. That's going to be a, that's going to be a different position. So the feet are side by side, and the ball's between them. Go back down. Lift your knees up. Your feet are, now your, um, now your hips are narrow, your knees are narrow. Change the position of your hands and restack. Then you're gonna bring it in and out. Two, now this is not involving the transverse abdominal, except in the most peripheral way. Three, you're using your hamstring here. Four, nice. Five, six, seven. We're not opening all the way. Eight. Good, nine, this is a really good glute exercise. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it here on one. We're gonna to try to lift those thighs off the floor with our belly, lift, 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 and then lower it down. Nice job. Drop your knee or your towel and bring it to the front. Okay, we're going into a plank. You can just hold the plank, which is fine, or you can do the reach, and then you pass the ball over to the other side or the towel, and you reach with the other side. I like it on long arms, but some people like it on bent arms. So find your position first. You can put your ball in the middle for now. Your hands are under your uh, shoulders. You're going to push one leg back and the other leg back, unless you need to modify, then you put one leg down for half of it and the other leg down for the other half. You take the ball and you hold it, pass it, hold. That's one, good. Nice, nice. So if you have a ball, you can also roll, lift, roll, three. Roll, lift, roll, four. Roll, lift, roll, five. Roll, lift, roll, six. Or you can just be holding your plank. Roll, seven. Roll, lift, roll, eight. Roll, lift, Roll, nine, roll, lift, roll, and 10. Nice job, sit back into child pose. Now we're gonna do a shot around the push-up, a very, very narrow one. So we're going to put the ball or towel between our thighs. We're going to take our hands under our shoulders. We're going to lower ourselves all the way down to the mat, holding that ball as tight as we can, putting those feet as close together as possible, looking down, pulling the belly button to the spine, elbows by the waist. Inhale to prepare, exhale, push up. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. Take your time, keep your toes into the floor. That'll keep your alignment. Inhale and exhale, push up, good. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. Nice. <clears throat> Inhale and exhale, push up. I tuck mine in. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. Nice. Inhale and exhale, push up. Hold it there. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. You have five more. When you come down, you should be hollowing out that belly. It's not pushing into the floor, right? Inhale and exhale, push up. Inhale and exhale, you're pulling your belly button to the spine. Bring it all the way down, good. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale, push up, good. We have three to go. 
We have two to go. Here's our last one. Stay there and go to pike and hold. Then bring it back. Do 10, ten of those. Two. Bring it back. Three. It's almost comfortable, right? Four. Nice. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Make sure you plank out. Good. Eight. Nice. Nine. And ten. Come on down to your knees and sit back into child pose. Nice job. With that in front of you. All right, we're just gonna sit here for four breaths. Okay, we're gonna do some lift crunches. So let me explain that if the lift crunch is too much for you, just curl yourself up and lower down. I'll show you that as soon as I get us on to the lift crunch, okay? So you can like, Look at the lift crunch. If it doesn't work for you, come. I'll come with the modification right after the first two. So you're gonna put your ball between your feet or your uh, thighs. This is where I, if I have a tailbone thing, put the towel under the tailbone. Curl yourself all the way down. Get the arms overhead. Take a big inhale. Exhale to the sides with your hands and then extend. Two and extend. All right, for those of you who can't do the lift crunch, you want to lift three. Nice, you don't even have to come off the floor. Four, all right, we're only doing 20. So keep those legs pointed. Five, whichever one you're doing, you can do 10 of one and 10 of the other. Six, nice. Seven, good job. Eight, nice. Nine. 10, 10 more, make sure you, 10, make sure you re-energize yourself. If you're not breathing, you're gonna run out of breath. Eight, come on, so you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Seven, six, five, good job. Four, nice, three, Two and one. Put those legs up. Take a turn to the side. How did that go? Is that fun? Now we're going to do one side. These are called sprinters crunches. So we're going to have the ball under one leg. We're going to turn to one side, and the other leg is going to stay straight. For those of you lying down, just do a one leg crossover. I'll show you after the first two. And we're only doing 10 on each side. So you're going to put ball under this leg right here. You're going to keep that leg like that in that position. You're going to inhale up and lift, <laughs> and lift to the side with the turn and bring it down. Two, right? Three. So those of you who are modified, you're just going to go over. Four, five, good. Six. <laughs> this is hard because you have nothing to push you off. Do eight. So you have to get that breath. Inhale, exhale, nine, oops, and 10, and bring it down, and let's go to the other side. That's a hard one. So if you want to keep doing this and you're finding it too hard, but you want to still do the curl up, put your foot on the floor. That'll help you get into your turn, right? But you can take the leg off the floor, or you can do the modification that I just gave you. Let's count that as one. Okay, <laughs> two, good. Three, better on this side. Four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Drop it and forward fold. Okay, we're gonna do something simple now. Believe, believe. 
okay? Believe. Curl yourself all the way down. Put it between your thighs. Walk your feet up in front of you. All right. Nice and tight. Actually, what I'd like to have you do is cross one leg over the other. Put your hands at your side. Drop your shoulder blades. Open up your hips. Take a nice deep breath. We're going to do four breaths. I started sweating, so that's funny. Okay. Bridge up and down. So you have one leg over the other. Two. So you're getting a little less bridge. Now, what do we know about bridges? We come up vertebrae by vertebrae. Four. Good. And we can inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale down, or we can inhale up and then exhale down. Five, six, seven. You want to open up behind your heart if you can. Eight. Good. Now, this hurts your knee, of course. You can put your legs side by side. Nine. So please take care of your body. Ten. And switch sides. Good. Cross ankles. One. Nice. Two, you're probably saying, Emily, oh, why can't we just do it like normal people? <laughs> Three, good question. <laughs> nice. Four, make sure you hold it at the top. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine, squeeze, squeeze, and ten. And hold it up there. Now put the legs side by side. We're going to do ten more, and then we're going to add to it. So take it up. And one. Now, if you need to put your feet on your heels, because that relieves your knee, or on your toes, go right ahead. Three, because what happens, this is, this is uh, important to note, when your feet are flat, your knees are extended in the front. So if you have any trouble with the patella or any of the positions up there, then you want to have your feet on your heels. I'm still doing this, so you're doing it with me, right? If your problem is in the back of your leg, you probably want your feet down or on your toes. So you have to understand that where we position the leg also has to do with how those uh, knees are getting uh, uh, utilized. Good. Last one. Hold it up here. Now we go side to side to side to side. So you're lifting the hips. Lift, lift, lift. Now jerk your body 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6, 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 and lower back down and bring that ball in. It's so much fun to use something because it makes us challenge ourselves. And it also helps us understand the workout more. I mean, it, it's because you start to get a yellow highlight around some of the muscles that they're just the same color as everything else, right? So we don't think about the extension of the knees very often in our bridge, but when we have the ball there, that makes us pay attention to the extension of our knees. So the ball's between my feet right now. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna to go to teaser and then we're gonna to go to canoe or boat and tea, boat and canoe. So inhale up, lifting your feet off the floor. Exhale, you slide it up, you hold it there, then you go to canoe and then you lower it all the way down. All right? So if you have trouble with this, start with your bent knees, pick it all up, exhale, take it out. That gives you a little more leverage. Then come down to canoe and bring it all the way down. Nice, eight more. Take your time with this because you want to feel every part of your body move, right? So you want to feel the, the grab of the cord down the middle. Then as you exhale, look like a talk and do this at the same time. You feel a gentle lift up. So you're not throwing it up because you supplied that cord. You pull on that cord, right? I forgot that canoe to get those legs up, right? So inhale, exhale, bring it up. Go to canoe and then lower all the way down. Six more. Take a nice deep breath before each one to supply your air. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Go to canoe and bring it 
all the way down. See, supplying your breath helps. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Try not to throw. I just a little bit of a jerk there. Go to canoe and bring it all the way down. Last three. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Go to canoe, bring it all the way down. Last two. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> My legs have stopped coming up. We get to canoe and take it all the way down. Uh, I don't know why. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. I'm going to try to get them up a little bit higher. Good. And bring yourself. Last piece. That was fun. Russian twist. We can't not do it. We are skipping the rowing because we did that recently and it's more of a stretch than an exercise. So, a couple ways you can do this again. You might want the towel under your booty or coming in back into the thing. You can have your legs off the floor. You can have one leg down and bring the other one up. You can have both legs down. The important part is there's only one thing in from the transverse abdominal to the abdominus rectus. It works all three parts of your core. So one, two, your whole upper body turns, three, four, five, you're holding your ball or your towel, six, seven, what's the benefit of that? Eight. That anchors your upper body, nine. So you can go flying around, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, we are done with our apparatus. You can put your towel or your ball away, and we are going to stretch. I'd like you to come onto your sides first. All the way down on that bicep right out of the shoulder. Stack your legs and take a nice deep breath. And again, I'd like you to take the top leg and put it flat on the floor. And then scoot it up as far as you can unless you're turning the ankle. So you want to align between the knee and the foot right here. Just hang on here and take a nice deep breath. Then I want you to bend the leg that's under it to the 90 degree angle, and then bring your chest around to an open chest and you have your spinal twist right there. You can feel it in your hip, in your back, in your waist. Nice, beautiful. Now, bring the legs to the center, not moving their position, lifting them off the floor, then you curl up and grab underneath that leg and give it a nice little tug and then extend the leg up. Slip the other leg off, lower your hip, rotate the ankle one direction and then the other. And then we're gonna lower it. 20 second lowering, begin down, exhale, let's go. Just hang on to it, keep pulling it in. You get 20 seconds to do this. Just get as far down as you can. This is my stubborn leg. I really want to get more range of motion. I know the health of my leg depends on it. And hold it right there. Breathe three times. Now we do 10 more seconds of uh, pulling it up, bringing it down. Big inhale and exhale, let's go. 10 more seconds. Come on, it's got some energy here and so do you. And then hold it right there. Put your hand inside the thigh and take it out to the side. Don't let both cheeks come off the floor, any cheeks come off the floor. Now bring the other leg around to it, push yourself up, and then you can automatically bring yourself down to the other side. Again, you're lying on your bicep. Good, stretching your arm out, taking yourself into lizard and bringing it up without rotating that knee at all. Get that leg nice and straight out of your hip. Don't let it come forward into a pipe, otherwise you lose your anchor, right? So breathe into it. 
Make sure your head and your uh, shoulder are aligned and your hip is tucked under. Then bend that bottom leg, hang on to it, and then curl yourself around so you have that spinal twist. Speaking of stretching, you should have received the uh, February calendar. We only have one stretch date this week, uh, this month, the short month, and um, we have one or two canceled classes, I'm not sure, right? And uh, a couple of classes I'll be doing from somewhere else. All right, bring it up. Curl yourself up and bring it in. Get that nice deep stretch. Good, and then bring the leg up and slide the foot off or take the ankle in one direction. And then the other, let's do it. 20 seconds, big inhale and exhale. Nod your chin down. This one is so responsive, the other one is so stubborn. Anybody else have that issue? One leg that just won't do it. Good, now hold it here for three breaths. And then 10 more seconds. Getting more range of motion, yay. Last three, two, and one. Hold it right there. Put your hand inside your thigh. Don't let floor and hang it out there. Nice. All right, let the other leg join and bring yourselves up to straddle. Hi there. Make sure you're on your sit bones, even if you have to bend your knees. Bring your hand around and open up. Get that chest open and put the back of the hands together, lowering the shoulders. Feels to me like the rain's coming back. I had such a beautiful walk this morning in the sun. Beginning on exhale, we're going curling down the side. So you're curling down, so you're lifting out of the hip and serratus. Make sure your head stays over your body. It wants to go forward, doesn't it? What are we just talking about, Lori? Grab your ear, take it across, and slide that hand out to the other, to the leg. Then you're going to push out, inhale, and then toward that leg. Soften the arm that's on the leg so you get that longer stretch. And then inhale and exhale. And bring it down, roll your shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forward. Let's go to the other side. Inhale and exhale, rolling it down, not to the wall this time. Slide that arm out and inhale out and exhale over to it. Good. That nice stretch. And then push through, inhale and exhale. We're gonna walk down the center, hinging. So we walk out. Good, it's not a curl down, we just end out, but it will be a curl back. And then walk it back in as you curl up through the belly. Good, and drop it down. Let's go to table talk. Let's finish off on our feet. So I think your back should be okay. It was a pretty safe day. I know body is good, but I don't know each and everybody's back. Curl up like a cat. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Curl up like a cat. Put those feet into the floor and come into your downward facing dog. Push the heels down. Feel the extension of your ankles and behind your knees. Put your um, chest toward your thighs. Push your hands to the floor. Ah, walk in. Curl yourself up. Okay, team. How'd you do? Let's get our head over our tailbones and roll our shoulders back. And roll our shoulders forward. Soften those knees. Push your machine. Ooh. I love it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, 